Tropical Storm Lee wasn't nearly as deadly or destructive as Hurricane Irene, but it still packed a wallop, killing at least four people and drenching much of the East Coast. It knocked out power to hundreds of thousands of people and even spawned tornadoes that damaged hundreds of homes. Looking down the street, there were a lot of trees down, a lot of roofs completely free of shingles, um, pieces of houses missing, siding missing. In suburban Atlanta, a man died while trying to cross a swollen creek. His body was found after frantic relatives went looking for him. He was just waiting for his cousin to come get him, you know, and uh, that's what we did. At one point, flood watches and warnings were in effect from northeast Alabama through West Virginia all the way up to New England. In Chattanooga, cars stalled out in high water as the city recorded more than nine inches of rain in 24 hours. Absolutely scared to death. We're lucky that we're okay. I'm just scared. The storm even kicked up tar balls along the Gulf Coast. Yeah, we were expecting quarter size, maybe dime, nickel. But what we're finding, some really, you know, larger chunks. It's not clear if the tar balls are connected to last year's massive Gulf oil spill, but they'll be tested and BP is sending survey teams to look into the matter. Although the heavy rains and flooding were a nightmare for some and a headache for many, it was a blessing for some farmers in the southeast who have seen their crops stunted by a summer drought. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.